people use GCMS to, um, I would say in general there is two types, roughly two types of applications. One is what we call target compound analysis and the other one is the analysis of unknowns. So one might specifically look for the presence of a individual molecule in a sample. That could be for a number of reasons. Either that molecule gives some very specific information um, and this can be in, a different, in different settings. It could be in geochemistry or in forensic science or in chemistry in general. So um, in that way um, GCMS is capable of telling the presence and quantity of one individual compound that would usually be in a complex mixture where it wouldn't be unrecognizable. Now the other application is to look for unknowns. One might analyze a sample by GCMS and in the results one sees a few compounds but we have no idea what they are. So then based on the information we get from the MS we can try to figure out um, the size, the original size of the compounds of that individual, of that common compound, and um, its structure. And the way that works is, I mentioned the ionization process earlier. So molecules are not fully stable, they have their weak points. And upon ionization they will actually break. And depending on the fragments that are produced upon ionization, we can reconstruct that and puzzle it together and figure out what the original compound was.